wild. Swag. Away with words. All ways to describe the man behind a movement. A rapper and a kragana. Credited with unleashing a new genre of music and inspiring a generation. This here is the Black Star Square. This is a historical uh, uh, spot. I originated this style called hip life. So the, the grandpapa, that started as a joke. And because before it was just, oh, the originator of hip life, you know. And then they added the grandpapa to the originator. And it just, it sounds really dope. Hip life is, if I take a beat and I rap in, say, Cree, Elway, whatever, an indigenous dialect from my country, that's hip life. Because the lingua represents the high life side of things, which is Ghanaian. As the godfather of hip life, Reggie Rockstone has seen the past of Ghanaian music and dreams of its future. I want to have Jill Scott, Eric Badu, my brother Talib, I want to have most deaf, I want to have common with our soldiers all on one stage. Born in the United Kingdom, Reggie honed his craft abroad. I have lived all over the world, you know, so my, I'm tri-continental, so I have experienced New York and then the UK, so I would say from Brooklyn, Brixton to Bukum. The three Bs. But there's only one place he calls home. So why is the year 1994 so significant to you? 94. That's when, um, 94 is when I got home. That's when I came home. When I got off the plane, man, it's just, you know, being out there grinding in the West for so long. And I came to meet like a totally new Africa, a new Ghana. I am bilingual. I am from Africa. You know, English is my first language, but I have a good command of, you know, because my father was a strong Pan-African. I wasn't one of them kids that was born up top that didn't have a connection to, you know, their roots. I could speak my, my own language. So I decided to not rap in English, but rap in my own dialect. Well, I inspired a whole generation. Reggae or hip life? Hip life. Tupac or Biggie? Biggie, New York, Brooklyn, Flatbush. Stardom or stability? Stability. Marvin Gaye or Bob Marley? Bob. Damn, that one hurt. Damn, because I got both of them on the wall, see? This here is the legendary studio. My father built me this studio, bless him. And um, this, this is where a lot of stories began. Um, I have had legends in here. Oh man, I grew up in a really eclectic home. You know, my father, uh, Ricky Saint Jose, legendary fashion designer. My household was just, we listened to the Beatles, right down to Fela, to Van Morrison, to my household was just so, this very, very wide scope. So my musical influences uh, is a, a whole collage. Since we on TV, I plug, this is the hottest joint right now, say it. <laughs> Make a enter. This is the hottest joint right now. Uh, let me let me bust that for you. Yes, you want to hear something? It's real funky. Now, with a career yeah, reincarnated, good. Reggie has found a way I'm to stay not to only relevant, but reinvented himself with his new group, VVIP. Lo, 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 lo. It's got their groove there. You know, okay, you go, you go. Ready, ready, ready let's go. Make a enter, Skulum. Okay. It's kind of like the shocky, but a short version. Right. Skulum. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> enter, Skulum. It's like a short version. Look, I know Nigeria is watching us right now. Don't worry, they jacked us. You jacked our Zonto. This is revenge. Everybody, hold somebody. Just like a real feel good joint, you know right. what I mean? What would you say the differences are between modern Ghanaian music and traditional Ghanaian music? The difference is, uh, it, it might be an emotion. When you watch someone drumming, it comes from here, you know, and it's just, it's a whole different vibe from you sitting in a studio with a cheeseburger and 
quack, quack. <laughs> Tonight is Ghana meets Niger. This is like the biggest event. Um, it's really Ghana beats Niger for the camera. <laughs> But everyone, everyone is here. Every, anyone or somebody is here. With more than 20 years in the game, Reggie is still excited to hear what's coming out of his country. Don't get me started right now, man. I mean, they call me the grandpapa. They also call me the proud papa. Yo, these kids are making it dope. They killing. Africa's buzzing. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. They need to give us a look in. You know, and uh, you know, remember Jamaica is a, is a small, it's a little island, and, and it's, it's known for reggae. You know, they started, but see how big they got. Well, you know, Africa is, is bigger, and there's always something new out of Africa. And he's like uh, a godfather to all of us. So we come to Reggie all the time when we are in any situation that we need help, consultants, you know, that type of you know morale that you need. So that's 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 him right here. And you, I know CNN have seen that already, you know, about, about this great man. And that's what he's offering all of us, the young ones coming up. The importance of music in Ghana, is, music is everything to the whole world. You, you couldn't do much without music. You couldn't, you couldn't watch a movie without a, sound, a soundtrack in the back. You know, you praise God to, to music. You know, you put babies to sleep to music. Music is, is everything. It's a soundtrack to life. What are we actually in this for? Are we in it for the fame, for, for, for the girls, for the nice cars, or do we actually want to help people? And the answer was we want to help people. 